it's a philosophy here, and this is my review of the Turtle Beaches X1s, as you can see. And I'm going to test, I'm going to review it on five things. The first one is setup. It's a good setup, and yeah, and stuff like that. Is it easy? This next one is sound quality. Is it? Does it give you the right sound quality? The next one is the comfort of it. Obviously, is it comfortable enough and stuff like that? The f the next one is the durability. It, does it last? Is it strong enough and stuff like that? And the last one, the main important one, is it worth the money? So I'm gonna address it up one out of one to ten for each of those five. Let's just say the five things. So the first thing is the setup. So for the setup, you're gonna get this bunch of wire. First, the first time you open it, you're gonna be confused, but it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is basically just. I uh, don't worry. I made a setup video for it. You plug these to win, and which is game sound, which is pretty good, I guess. Game sound, which is pretty good. Most headsets, this cheap, they give you. This cost me around like fifty bucks. No, sixty bucks. Yes, sixty or fifty bucks around there, which gives you game sound, and it's USB powered. It's wide, obviously. It's USB, so you don't need AA edge. Patrick gives you game Xbox Live game chat, and basically, yeah, the setup is not the simplest, but it gives you tons of wire, so you can sit wherever you want around the house, and you can still basically be like on your headset. So for the setup, I'm gonna give it a seven. No. I'll give it a six. I just hate my mind at the last second. Think about all oh, these wires. So I'll give it a seven out of ten for the sound quality. So next, the next one was the. I think it was the sound quality. Um, let me think about it. Yeah, it was the sound quality, wasn't it? No, it was the comfort. Is it comfortable? Yeah, is this comfortable? So the first thing I want to talk to you about is it's a long way, so you can go anywhere in your house. It's this. It give, it's a stretchable. It's not a stretchable. You, it's a mic that you can move anywhere. It can be in any position you want. So you can just be keep it next to your mouth, far away, up, so you, you don't, it doesn't come in your eyes, down below, and it goes both ways. So you can. It works for right, um, righties and lefties. I think this is a very good attachment. What for this headset? Because it gives you the peace of mind. And basically, yeah, the th next thing is it's got this headsets, which merch, merch headsets have. I just got an error on my phone, don't worry, I'll play it. As you can see here, it's because it's cushiony part. Oh boy, sorry guys, sorry. Damn it, damn it, damn it, sorry guys, I'll keep on continuing. It's because it's mushy part here. I don't think you can see that mushy part. Yeah, there. So it's gonna, it's gonna be restfully on your head. And because it's adjustable straps. As you can see, so it gives you that peace of mind. So if it's every hit, I am. It fits on my head, and I am. My head is really small, and it's got those big ass ear cups, as you can see there. And the greatest thing about this headset, as is, is that if it fits over your ear. So you, if you if you if you use like normal earphones, like if you even use a normal earphone, how the um, what do you call the headphones go into your ear? These go on top, which gives you the best quality. So if if someone fires a gun behind you, you're gonna hear it from this side. So it's gonna tell you that it's coming from behind. If it's from the top, it's gonna fire from here, which gives you really good quality and feels very light on your head. It's around like 200 grams, I guess. And because of this cushiony part, that is really squishy. This is a really, really, really Comfort, comforting headset. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Why I gave it a nine? Because if this was wireless, I, I would have given it a ten out of ten for sure. Smash it out of the park for the comfort. And the next thing was the sound quality. I think was it? Yeah, the sound quality. So this, if you didn't know, this gives you game sound also. So which is pretty good. Um, which gives you game sound and Xbox Live chat. It's got a fifty millimeter speaker in this. If you use normal headphones like. The Apple earphones, which plug into your ears, that's three millimeter, and this is twenty times, nearly twenty times better, and basically, yeah, twenty times better. The sound quality because it's got a fifty millimeter speaker, which is good ad for a headset, and yeah, the sound quality is pretty good, and you also get these buttons here, which which is going to give you great control. This is for your 
thing, your um, you connect this to your controller, which is going to give you the game sound. This is for the chat on and off, which is a really good switch. So you, you can turn your mic off any whenever you want. And you got this game. I don't think you can read that. Just wait, let me just um, the photo focus. Photo focus. This you can, this is for the game sound. This is for the chat sound, which is really good. Most of the headsets don't have this from other competitors. So I really like this. And the sound quality, I'm going to give it an 8. So, yeah, this is pretty good. So I'm going to move on to the next one, which is the durability. I've been using this headset for two, for two, two months now, two, three months. And he hasn't even got a scratch on it. And I don't use it like I'm. I don't throw this at the wall or anything. But still, I I don't give. I I don't like treasure it. It's like I don't treasure it like it's gold or anything. I just use it like a normal headset. And I think the durability is pretty strong for a headset like this. It's plastic. I know it's plastic, but still it feels because it's light. It won't break easily. And most people might say it's. Reckless because the speak is moved to fit your ears. If your if your head's close, it'll go like that. And if it's not, it tilt back. But I think durability of this, if you can see, there's no scratches or anything on it. I think it's really good. And the wires, well, your dog might bite on it, but yeah, but your dog might bite on it. But still, <laughs> what can I say about that? And may I say the color of this looks exceptional. Look at that, the green and black really go together really good. I really like this combination. And basically, for the durability, I'm going to give it a 8 because of the wire section, as you can see. And it is plastic, so... Yeah, plastic doesn't last for long. For Well, it does last for long, but still, on a headset, it won't last for long. But because it's light, I think it's really good. So here's the last one. Is it worth the money? Is it worth the 60 60, 70 bucks, whatever you put in it, is it actually worth it? I'll say it is worth it, and out of the rating, I'll give it a, um, I'll give it a 7, because it's a really good headset. For the price you pay for this, and it's a Turtle Beach, with the price you pay for it, it's excellent. It gives you game sound, it gives you everything nearly, what you need for, just to be a casual, or a pro um, a player. It's a really good starter headset, I recommend, if you find your, if you're buying your first headset, definitely go for the XL ones. I've seen the other ones where people go for the X twelves. I don't, I see no difference in that. The only difference is the X twelves are uh, go into your computer, but that's basically it. But I worked out a trick which give which makes my Tether Beach XL ones plug into the PC, which is fine. Two things, two yes, which costs around fifty fifty cents. So that's one dollar. Which I'm gonna make a video about. Which um, I I don't know if I have it up by then, but yeah, I'm gonna post that on. And for the that's basically it. So overall, combining all those five things, I'll give this headset a rating out of a eight out of ten because it's so good. I, it's my first headset. I know I'm being a bit biased here, but still, it's a great starter headset, and I'll give it. A, 8 out of 10 for it. So basically, this has been my review for the Tether Beach XL ones. If you like it, smash that like button below. Check out the two videos. I'm not seen it yet, and I'm out.